I mean, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the toggle show and hide button in JavaScript just like this. Let's get right into it. Um, so, guys, here already we have linked the um, HTML file to the CSS file, also, there's a link to the JavaScript file. So, what we're adding now is the functionality of JavaScript the show and add button now. So, we add the show button close to the content. So, you're we'll adding the button for the show. Uh, sorry about that. So, we have button and ID of show. Then, we have the on click event that is the JavaScript file. We have show. So, we we'll close the button and the tag is going to be show. Show. So, we we'll close the button. So, the same is going to be for the open button also i mean the hide button so we'll paste it here and change this to hide so um it's gonna be hide also so this is the content of the this is the content this is the content of the of the div and this is the show button and this is the table of content so here right now we're working on so we're working on the Okay, this is supposed to be oh, okay. So here now, guys, we'll be adding the JavaScript file now. Let's get right into that. So in JavaScript file now, we're adding the function function for the for the show. So for the show now, what we want to do here is we want to make sure the display. I mean the table of content is displaying there that is a document object model so working with document object model to so document dot, dot get element by id so the, the idea is content so you can see the idea is content so changing that to adding that as adding the id there as content So guys, we're adding the IDA as uh, sorry about that. The IDA as content. So dealing with the style now. So the, we're, we're dealing with the the height. Four hundred pixels. So you can you can um, edit your CSS by yourself. Just quite easy CSS to edit. So doesn't have much things to do with the CSS. So mostly working with the JavaScript element here. But you can edit the CSS yourself. So the same content. So um dealing with the also dealing with the dealing with the display. So dot style. So the display we're gonna give the display block display. So it's gonna be displayed in block yeah, so guys, display. We have display. So notice that when the when the show button is clicked, it should not appear anymore. So working with pretty something like that. so with that now we have document. Dot get element by ID. So this is for the for the show. So this is for the show. So it's gonna be hidden. Yeah, it's gonna be hidden once you click on it. Display is gonna be none. That is gonna go hidden. So this is for the show. Now for the open button, just copy this. I mean for the add button rather. For the add button, it's gonna be the same thing. So it's definitely the add button will turn back the values to where they are. So the add becomes zero pixels and display for the content becomes no, and that is the add button doesn't allow you to be displayed, and the, the 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 show button comes back as inline element, not block element. So when you save this now and you show it on the website, you get your show and add button. So this is the CSS file and I have just added to it. So you can design your CSS by yourself. You can design your CSS the way you want it. So this is designed for the body, for the content, and for the buttons. So I just added this 
um, for you to see so you can create yours any any you want to um design it you can design it so basically i'm working with javascript so i've added the functionality for the show also for the hide and also for the html i've added the files there so on the website now you can easily see what you've, you can toggle between the, the show and the hide button now so you can see where the show button is clicked doesn't appear anymore and where the hide button is clicked the old content goes away so guys thank you for watching can i try to my channel so i'll see you in the next video thank you